What's up guys? Welcome to Be A Metal Fabricator. We're in the shop today and we're going to be building a gathering tool or a tucking tool to create those beautiful tucks for shrinking steel. Now I built this one a while back and it's got quite a few moving parts on it but I think we can simplify this down quite a bit. I came up with a better idea. I got it jotted down on a piece of paper just to kind of get it out of my head and we're going to go ahead and build that today. So let's jump into the video. Okay, so I'm gonna start by measuring out what I think this needs to be. So I'm gonna go with uh, seven inches, and then I'm gonna come down about an inch. So, about an inch, and then I'm gonna go 40, I'm gonna give it a 45 degree cut. So this is going to be the top piece and then I need a bottom piece and that's six inches. We're going to utilize this 45 and flip it over and we're going to go six inches on the top of this thing. So right here, so I'm going seven inches here, six inches on the bottom and another six inch piece. And this one's gonna come down to the bottom. We're gonna weld this seam up right here on both sides and make it a six inch tall piece. All right, I got my saw set to 45 degrees and I got everything ready to cut. So let's go ahead and cut this. I'm going to take this little end off right here, just cut it down. So I got the pieces put together and I got the mill scale ground off because you don't want to weld through that mill scale. And I got everything clamped to the table. So now I'm going to go ahead and weld these together. That way we got one chunk. So I made this front piece for it. I'm gonna go ahead and weld that on just to give it a little more strength. So now we're gonna figure out where our top lever point is going to be. And I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go in a half inch, think down a half inch. Now let's make our, our handle to come out, our leverage handle. Okay, so my original plan for the handle was just to slip some square tube right in between these linkages and then weld it up and use this as my handle. But I have the handle for the other gathering tool that slides in a tube and I think I'm gonna just build this one the same way. So next up, I'm gonna build this linkage right here. And I got my two pieces of flat strap, which are gonna go on each side of that machine. I'm gonna drill a 3 8 hole right here for the back, and then we'll drill a hole in this machine itself. So now that I got my linkages drilled, I'm gonna go ahead and put this about midway, midway down our six inch piece right underneath our weld, or fairly close to it anyway. So, somewhere, I want to get too close to the weld, about midway right there. I'm gonna just put these linkages on
you're going to want to do is put this square tube it's more like that maybe got that about where I want it just mocked up right there I'm going to go ahead and tack this that way it doesn't move on me I got my last two linkages made, so I'm going to put them right here, right here on this arm. Okay, let's see how much movement we got. Got quite a bit actually. There's plenty. Look at that. Beautiful. Okay, so now we're going to need to make our dies so that we can shrink some steel or aluminum and weld this up, weld our dies onto this thing, and then we'll give it a shot. I'm just going to weld this top die right in the center of this arm right here. I'm going to weld the bottom one on. Put it in the same spot. finish welding up this piece to the base that way it's nice and solid on there let's go ahead and give this thing a shot and see how she does I'd say that is a success. This thing's sweet and it could be stashed on a shelf out of the way. Let's try some 063 aluminum, something that I've been pounding on already, so it's really work hardened right now. So this is some pretty tough aluminum. It's 
pretty good right there. It's marring up the aluminum. I'll have to put some plastic over these dies. That way I'm not marring everything up while I'm trying to work the metal. But that works, that works really good. All right, guys, this tucking tool came out pretty sweet. I really like it. This is something I'm gonna be utilizing here in the shop quite often. And I hope you guys liked it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If this is something that you guys would like as a fabricator's kit, I could ship you all the pieces. You could put it together yourself. Or if you would like the plans for it, or maybe you could build it right off of the video. Either way, whatever you guys want, let me know in the comment section. But again, I appreciate you guys for watching. And until next time, We'll see you in the next one.